The aftermath of an airstrike on a house in Rafa. The desperate attempt to find anyone who may still be alive in the rubble. Witnesses say 14 members of the same family were killed when an Israeli strike hit while they slept. <laughs> Among them, twin babies, born and now died during the war. My heart is gone, their mother says. She lost her husband too. <laughs> the Israeli military releasing footage it says shows the destruction of dozens of Hamas targets as it intensified operations in the southern Gaza Strip across the border. A delegation from Hamas arrived in Cairo for a new round of negotiations for a potential ceasefire and hostage deal. No Israeli officials were present at the talks, despite a senior U.S. official saying this weekend there's a deal on the table that the Israelis have more or less accepted and the ball is in the court of Hamas. Hamas are making outlandish demands in another orbit, another planet. If Hamas can come back down to reality, we'll, we'll be able to have a deal. <laughs> Pressure for a deal has intensified after more than 100 Palestinians were killed when an aid convoy delivery turned deadly last week, with Israeli troops accused of opening fire on the crowd. Our children die of hunger. They went to get a bag of flour in order to feed their children. Some were run over, others were shot. This humanitarian operation was carried out by us. The claim that we attacked the convoy and injured people deliberately is baseless. A spokesman for Israel's army says an initial review has found no strike was carried out by its forces directed at the convoy and that a stampede led to the carnage. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.